DDGs are, are distillers dried grains, which is the, the byproduct of what's left over from, from the wheat or the grains that we're using. Uh, it's a very high protein source. It's, it's the, all of the bran and the fiber part of the kernel that's left over once the starches are taken out of the kernel. And we put that through a dryer and uh, store it in our, in our warehouse and, and load rail cars or trucks to ship it to different feedlots or plants. Uh, it's a good protein source. It's a good uh, bypass protein. You know, traditionally it runs at about 34-35% protein when we're, uh, when we're looking at the, at the incoming wheat. If the protein in the wheat is a little higher than it has in some years been as high as 37 or 38% as well. So it's a good feed source, uh, can complement uh, good uh, silage or, or poor hay uh, crops because of the increased protein. So um, we, we market that on an ongoing basis. Uh, what a lot of people don't understand is when we're making our ethanol, about 35% or 36% of what we take in in grain is returned back into the feed market as a, as a feed source in the distiller's dried grain. Our DDGs are, are, are higher quality. We, we uh, put a lot of the uh, research through the University of Saskatchewan developing markets for the, the distiller's dried grain. In fact, there's a group, uh, it's called FABI, which is Feed Opportunities for Bio Ingredients. Uh, and, and that's uh, one of the uh, works that we've done with the U of S to, to develop a market. Um, a lot of the distillers dried grain goes into the dairy markets, which are looking into a high source of protein. And we've uh, prided ourselves in working with the University of Saskatchewan to develop markets for, for these uh, distillers dried grains.